I see. Come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen TV. <laughs> all right, Pisces, what do you need to know about love? Bear in mind, my love is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. The link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. You can also purchase them via my website, gentvtarot.com. Or if you join my channel, the best price would probably be from Patreon, though. Each has its own perks. You decide. Pisces, what do you need to know about love? Oh, they want to come out together. Interesting. All right, Pisces. So, the bottom of the deck is the Year of in Reverse. <sighs> Duty is the word that comes up here. The overall vibe of the reading is the Six of Pentacles in Reverse. And the whole cause of this is this. So let's get to that. So the six of pentacles in reverse. This is like some... So what are you not getting what they put back into a relationship? And that's causing a lot of confusion. I think... The story that I'm getting through here is that you're in love with somebody who's trapped in a relationship, be that a romantic relationship, a marriage, or a relationship with um, a friend or a family member who they can't really get out of. They can't give you what you need in the relationship because of this other person. So what don't you know? So I feel like you know all of that. Because this is why I'm asking, because this is here. This is like, whoa, 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 hold on. That's kind of what that means. Wait a minute. Don't jump into something and rush into something. Hold on. So what don't you know? Don't you know, Pisces? They're weak. Ah, oh. this person has no backbone. They're weak. They they can't stand up for themselves. So my hair is sticking to my lipstick. It's a wig. 20 quid on Amazon. Pretty good, isn't it? Anyway. This person has no backbone. They couldn't fight their way out of a wet paper bag. <laughs> they don't know what they want to. I, this person doesn't stand up for themselves. I actually feel like... Um, the image that I'm getting <clears throat> is of somebody who has two very strong female energies in their life that isn't you. Um, I apologise if you're a male and you're seeing this from your, the, this point of view, um, from a different point of view. Take it how it resonates. So it could be a male, two male. But how I'm seeing it. Mike, the picture I'm seeing it is uh, this is somebody you are in love with, somebody who has two very strong female um, energies in their life, or male, whatever, that um, they cannot stand up to, um, will not stand up to, 
and yet they won't let you go. They're not letting you go. They they have no strength though. They 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 refuse to take any action. The King of Swords in reverse because that that could cause conflict. Oh, we don't want conflict. Oh no. So if you want to be with this person, Pisces, this person in your life is uh, important to you. You want to be with them. You want to have a relationship with them. And they are currently not giving you back what you're putting into the relationship. you got to understand right now, you're never going to get back. This is what you need to be aware of right now. This is what you don't know, is you're never going to get it back. This person's always going to have these strong female energies crushing them <laughs> anything else you don't know right now you know that already though i guess what you didn't know is that they're never going to change and this is always going to be here they're confused what you don't know is that they're confused and they want to would be they don't want this situation they've just got no backbone they've got no spine they, they they cannot stand up to these people they don't have it in their dna they're not gonna they're not going to fight. They're not going to fight for you. They're not going to fight these people. Um, if, if this is a marriage that they are not happy in, they're not going to leave that marriage. If this is a overbearing parent, they're going to allow that overbearing parent to keep being overbearing. So like, if that overbearing parent's talking crap about you, they're going to keep doing it. And they're going to let them. What's coming up in the near future? Oh. The Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is about carrying heavy burdens. Thing is, though, that journey's nearly over. It's been hard work, though. What's coming up in the near future for you? They're not leaving. This is a marriage. I think for some of you, uh, this is a marriage. They're not leaving it. I know that the Ten of Pentacles is a good card, but seeing it with the Ten of Wands and it being a heavy burden, but also this, you're being blocked off. This is them and you don't have access. Also because, you know, the Nine of Swords is with it and, well, Torment, sadness, uh, anxiety, stress, can't sleep. None of it's looking good. And also, those, I mean, the, the magician's quite a good card in a sense, but not in this way. The magician in this way is like, um, it's all an illusion. It's everything that you want with this person. Everything that they're promising you, they're not going to give to you. You're going to be blocked off from what you want with them. Best you can hope for is, well, that's you. Great. Well, that's them. The Emperor in reverse. You know, well, they're not your emperor, that's for sure. Quite the opposite. If it was your emperor, they would stand strong for you and champion you and support you and support 
sorry, my next door neighbours, uh, no worries, just a message from my neighbour. <laughs> Usually something dodgy going on, like, <laughs> uh, you don't want to hear it, do you want to hear it? <laughs> Okay, there was there was a man doing a poo in my back garden. <laughs> See, I know, I know, I told you you didn't want to hear it. So, so it's not my fault. You said you wanted to hear it. Anyway, sorry, we'll get on with it. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, they are not the emperor. I'm all embarrassed now. No, it wasn't somebody doing a poop in the back garden this time. They're, they're this. They're the emperor in reverse. Quite the opposite. They won't stand for you. They won't stand for anything but, you know, maybe what they want. They like to think that they're in charge of their world, but they're not really. This is you. This is you chopping out with your sword anything that doesn't serve you, anything that's not good for you, anything that hurts you. That's you, like, going, ah, shing, chopping it out. Because, you know, this is you as well, with your new beginning, Ace of Swords. You're, I've just seen eleven eleven as well manifesting this is your new beginning it i see this is a double-edged sword here it's not the beginning you wanted it might be a little bit painful this new beginning but they're gonna walk away from you not from what they can't walk away from you know what this feels like to me is and this is the outcome as well. Was it worth it? Has it been worth it, everything that you've been through? Is it worth it because they, they're never going to put you first? So every, every bit of pain that you've gone through, was it, was it worth it? Every bit of sadness that you felt because of this person, was it? It's also because they're never going to put you first. They're always going to put these other people first. These people are more important to them. They would rather hurt you than say no to them. So what does that tell you? Was it worth it? Did you get out of it what you needed, what you wanted, what you desired? I'm going to take this into extended in a second. I'm going to read this. I'm going to take it into extended where I'm going to ask about them for you. How do they really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? And some guidance from the universe. Well, let's read this now. What's the Seven of Pentacles doing there in the outcome? Let's clarify it. What's your name? Who's your daddy? Is he rich like me? I, I, I feel like that, that line just came into my head and it sort of feels like in the original song, I kind of like what I like the meaning. It's sort of saying like, is this person going to do for you everything that I can do for you? And I feel like that's your song for the day. Time of the season by the zombies. Is this person going to give you what you want? Are they going to give you what you need? Or is there somebody out there who is going to give you what you need? <whistles> Deep. I think there's a chance still doesn't matter how young or how old you are, where you are in your life, what you're doing, there's still a chance for a better life, always. And you don't need to be sad anymore. You don't need to chase after this person or anyone else anymore. It has been said. Sorry, I've got decks all over the place. Here we go. Oops. 
What's your name? Who's your daddy? Is he rich like me? It's almost like this person's sort of like, is he rich like me? It's, it's like, have they kind of look at all the money I've got? I could look after you. They're not going to. I could totally look after you. I'm not going to though. But I could. You can be safe with me. Not really. Prosperity lies ahead. When you cut out what doesn't serve you, you absolute queen. All right, I've already given you your song of the day. Time of the season by the zombies. I'm going to take this in six standard. Thank you for joining me. See you later.